Hey Virgo, welcome back to your reading. Welcome if you're new or returning. Virgo, we're going to go ahead and see here what Spirit wants to tell you about your connection, about this person that you're currently thinking about, person that you may just met. This could be someone new. This could be past love. This could be the person coming in. We'll take a look here and see what the current or overall energy is right now for you when it comes to love. And I'm going to see things from you and this person's perspective. But just keep in mind that this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. Not everything that Spirit shows me that I pick up on that comes out in this reading here today is going to resonate with every Virgo. But if this reading does not resonate, check your moon, your Venus, your rising placements. Maybe you'll get more details in those readings or maybe uh, about your person specifically. Or you can just ask for a personal reading. I do have a lover special you can take advantage of at this time. All right, so let's take a look here and see what Spirit wants to tell you. What's going on in this connection right now? What's the overall energy here for Virgo and love or Virgo thinking about love or of a specific person, whether that be past or present. few messages here getting to know each other right now how cute okay so we got some flirting going on there's someone new in your life Virgo or someone coming in but here I mean getting to know each other flirt yeah this wow hello Virgo we have new love someone coming in for you get to know this person flirt a little okay but here's also what's interesting. It's also coming at the same time simultaneously here with release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. We have deception. We'll see here what this is about. Maybe this is about your person needing to release their ex. Okay. You guys could have been married in a relationship and a commitment. We do have engagement. I want it. This is a very interesting timeline that they're showing me here. And then we have also reconciliation. Wow. You guys have a lot of things going on here. We're, we're dealing with past love. We have a soulmate coming back. Soulmate twin flame. Intense connection here. Then we also have someone new who's coming into your life. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if I see the two of pentacles. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Ask for help if you need help. Something here with children. Okay. Now that's a very weird specific message that I'm getting here. I know this is not going to resonate for all of you. But for someone specific here, there's somebody here who's going to watch this reading that has children here either with this person or from a previous relationship or the person you're connecting with thinking about does. I kind of get here someone here needs help with... You know, you know, it's like you got to work and kids are maybe not old enough to go to school just yet. You know, you kind of have you have all these things going on or maybe how over how ever old or young your child is or children are. Someone here needs the help of the other partner, but they're not getting it. Um, a weird message that I'm getting here for somebody, if you happen to be that Virgo, saying ask for help if you ask for help and support if you need it. You have friends around you right now at this time that are going to be more than happy to help you with whatever it is that you need help, aid, support, service in, okay? Whether that just be time, money, um, babysitting, I don't know what this is, but I was getting here for somebody here. Virgo it's I know you guys are an earth sign you guys like to do everything on your own but sometimes we can't and strength isn't about oh I can do this all by myself strength is all about look I know when to ask for help and I and I know what my limitations are and I can't do it all by myself strength is and encourages needing knowing 
you know, when to ask for help and actually asking for help when you need it. That, I feel like that's, that's when really strength, you know, someone who is really strong, um, that they're not going to hide behind their pride and ego if they're needing help with something. Now, let's take a look. I want to see here, what is your current energy? Right now? Because it looks like you and somebody here are, are coming back together. We have reconciliation, trust, okay? And getting to know each other flirts. So I do have two scenarios here. One group of you, Virgos, you're reconnecting with the past life soulmate, a soulmate twin flame. Someone here is returning back into your life. Some of you, when that does happen, you might have also someone new. Okay, you're getting to know someone here. You're falling in love. You're maybe keep you're 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 kind of interested. You know, you're getting to know each other right now. Is asking you to flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and it would very likely lead to a commitment, a higher level of commitment, engagement. Okay, some of you is very loud and clear deception. Release your ex. Okay, if you know you were dealing with a toxic situation, a manipulative situation, someone here who's just not good for you, it's time to let go of this person so the new energy can't come in. Okay, what are, what are you currently feeling right now, Virgo? What's your current energy right now towards the situation? How are you currently thinking? Spirit, show me from Virgo's perspective. Thank you. From their point of view, from their perspective. Wow, we have the Page of Swords and Tower. We have the King of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Star. Okay, you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus. Okay, could be any sign. Yeah, um, Virgo, what I'm getting here for somebody here is you're dealing with this drama. For way too long. Something here happened again. I don't know if you guys got into a fight. There was an argument. You saw something. They said something. You saw them with someone. They did something. They said something. You know, it could be anything. But the tower moment happened. I don't know if it's um, a little while ago in the recent or distant past. But this is enough for you to be like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Nope, this is not for me. I'm not sticking around for this shit anymore. I'm not doing it. And it's interesting here, I'm getting as just as soon as you get rid of this person, someone new comes in or you allow this person to come in. We are calling in your soulmate. And just as soon as you release, look at this, as soon as you release this person, your soulmate comes in, but you've been holding on, I really do get here, Virgo, you've been holding on to somebody that's totally wrong for you, and that's for someone here, this is obviously not for all of you, okay, but I'm getting here, as soon as you let go of this person, this soulmate comes in, can be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, or the person you've been wanting to get back with, reconcile with. Someone who you could see yourself with at this time. But with the Page of Swords and the Tower Chariot energy here, it's like I'm getting the hell out of here. I I don't I can't deal with this drama. I can't deal with this person anymore. It, it's you've kind of reached your limit here of how much you can take and how much you can handle from this person. And you're disconnecting. Maybe that's why I was getting here. Well, maybe you kept this person around because, well, you know, two people working together is easier than one person doing it all. But now you're just like, you know what? No, fuck it. I don't even want that person, my maybe a toxic ex around. And you're like, if I have to, I'm going to figure it out. I'm just going to do it all by myself. And Wow, that's just amazing here, Virgo. But just know that you ask for help when you need it because there are people around you that would just, you know, there, you know, some people really, acts of service is a love language. 
Okay, you have to understand some people just as much as some people like to take. Um, you know, there's a lot of takers in this world. So some of some some people really like to ask to take. Give me, give me, give me, give me this. There are some people that just as much like to give. Okay, access service is a love language. <clears throat> And, you know, I feel like this person isn't just going to, uh, I feel like this person that's around them be like, yeah, of course I can help you with that, you know? It's no, yeah, see, whoever this is, Virgo, okay, help in the home, help with uh, babysitting, help with something, help with uh, picking something up, dropping someone off, whatever this is, okay, helping with the car, vehicle, money, um, we have the King of Pentacles here with Chariot, but you have the star here. Everything is going to be okay for you. Whatever it is that you're worried about, concerned about, stressing over, Virgo, the universe has your back. Something or someone, they're kicking somebody here to the curb right now, kicking someone out of your life, something toxic here. I mean, this is long past expiration. This Their time is up a long time ago. Okay, but you kept coming, you kept, you kept taking them back, you kept going back, or they kept showing back up. But there's someone new coming in for you that is, is, is amazing. Get to know this person, flirt with this person, you know, let this person know you're available. Let them know and see how warm you are, how fun you are, you know, energy to others. Tell me, tell me about this. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. I really like this person who you'll be connecting with. They're, they're, they're oh my God, this person that you're going to be dating or seeing soon is someone here who, like, if you have something going on at home that you need fixing, remember how I'm kind of getting that acts of service energy, I'm telling you, this person is everything that you, you, you probably like, oh my God, my ex never did that, you know, that's, that's like, and then the, everything that this person does is everything that your ex never did, that you always wanted them to do, that, that speaks your love language. This person, you're going to fall head over heels for this person, not just because of what they do or, you know, how they help you, but there's just so much, I don't know, I just can't hear you guys just, I mean, we have flirt and engagement. You guys just really, really like spending time with each other. You guys are always with each other, always talking to each other. We'll be talking to each other a lot. Okay, tell me, tell me about this tower, Monozi. What happened? This tower, two of wands, hierophant, and the hangman, the queen of cups. Could be about water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Someone here ooh, was lying to you about something. Seven of Swords, you found out, or you have you have a funny feeling. Trust your intuition. You know there's something going on here, and you're right. They they have this the tower moment here is with the Seven of Swords. I hate the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is my liar, cheater, manipulator. I mean, look at this guy. He's like walking away with all the swords, taking, stealing from behind people's backs. He has a smile on his face. He's trying to be your friend. It's like, hey, nothing to see here. Everything's all great. How was your day? <laughs> yeah, no, he or she doesn't matter. This person, you know, could be someone here. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They could have, you know, their heart was in the right place. They, they don't have good intentions here. Some of you, it was all because of money. Okay. Release this person, Virgo. It's time for you to get this. Bring, take the trash to the curb. Okay. Now, for reconciliation, trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. I feel like your energy here. There's three different messages here for Virgo. 
Okay, see, we had Deception. That Seven of Swords here came out with Release Your Ex. The cards here are not lying, are not lying. Your ex, your past person is lying to you. They're nasty. They, you know, nothing. Or maybe it's, um, maybe it's, um, Virgo's cross watcher feeling that way about Virgo. Okay, but here we have, um, Calling in Your Soulmate. Yes, you need to get to know each other. And then they came out with new love. I'm going to do this. That I, We just did the deception release your ex. Let's take a look here. See who you are reconciling with. Why is the reconciliation and trust card is coming out for you guys? Thank you. Because they were burdened by, okay, death in reverse, knight of wands. Okay, so Virgo, then you guys also have a Scorpio or a fire sign. It could be really any sign. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio here with the two of cups. It was the bad, it was wrong timing for you guys. Someone here, there was a third party situation or they had an ex issue. They were still kind of dealing with ex, ex stuff. And now they're releasing their baggage or whatever it was that was holding them up. Okay. They were really overwhelmed by everything before. And I kind of get that this person just kind of let the situation go. They felt something here for you, clearly. Some of you, this is someone that lives pretty close to you, maybe a neighbor, maybe a co-worker, someone you saw pretty regular, regularly or someone who you were planning on seeing. Um, you guys may have flirted on the phone, called and texted each other, um, but something here happened. It was um, Spirit saying bad timing. You and somebody will be reconciling again. A reconciliation is happening for you guys very soon. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now this person is going to work on it. They're going to nurture this relationship. I, I feel like they walked away because with the death card in reverse, they try to walk away from you. But they feel like there's unfinished business here. They are interested here maybe now if they didn't see themselves getting into a relationship with you or couldn't for whatever reason. Maybe it was finances. Maybe it was their career. Maybe they were in school. Maybe they were just a little bit of a commitment phobe. They wanted to be, you know, they just had a, you know, commitment anxiety. This person feels like they can now come back. And see if this is going to grow. See if something here is going to happen. Because they felt something here with you. Clearly here with the two of cups. This could be a same-sex relationship. Of course, not all of you. Some of you may know this person because, okay. Someone here could be someone's ex. Someone's friend. Like you, I don't know. Like a friend, your ex's friend was crushing on you. Okay, that's for someone here. Or they felt like they couldn't be with you for whatever reason here. They decided they just only wanted to be friends. This the person wants to come back and work on things. Or they are finally, like, gaining the courage to, at least, you know. This is really wanting to take action, do something about it, get this thing going now. It's been pretty stagnant for some time. Okay, um, and let's take a look here and see with this new person that you guys are meeting soon. It could be. This is why I'm saying flirt. Flirt with this person. But that could be a separate message. Some of you guys are not dealing with an ex. You've already let go of your past, your deceptive, toxic ex. And now there's someone new in your life. You're getting to know each other right now. Take a look here and see who this person is for this Virgo. What do you need to know about this situation here? I 
forget that you two are going to come together because we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Right after getting to know each other, Virgo, there might be someone new you guys been seeing recently. It can't, of course, a Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be any sign. Okay, tell me about this new person. This new person from Virgo. Wow. Virgo, it could be this person I was just talking to you guys about. Reconciliation person who you want, because I'm getting that same energy here. Okay? This person who you've been having around, who you've been considering, who's been very helpful, or seems to really just, like, they're... Trying to understand you, trying to get to know you better. Almost like you, you feel like they are very attentive to your needs, to your wants, to what you're saying. And if you've been saying, well, I struggle with this and I have concerns about that, this person's like, well, leave it to me, leave it to me. I can help you, Virgo. This person really likes you. This person wants to date you if you'll give them a chance. I feel like you're going to fall madly in love head over heels for this person. This is a, you know, this flower is worth watering, you know. Um, this is, You're going to find a lot of, this, there's going to be a lot of growth in this. Uh, this could be also that same fire sign I was telling you guys about. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It also can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is coming in, coming in hot. Okay, coming in pretty fast. I'm seeing a bull here, so it could be also a Taurus. Okay, I'm not going to rule out fire signs because the fire signs here are coming through. And I also saw King of Pentacles here too. This could also be someone who is self-employed who may be thinking about or have already started their own business. May also have children from a previous relationship. Not all of you, of course. Um, but I'm seeing here with the... Knight of Swords with the King of Wands with new love. You're not going to be single for too long. The person you are wanting wants you, is what I'm getting here. There's a very, very, wow, strong magnetic attraction here, and your wish is granted. What you have been saying to the universe, the universe is delivering. If you guys want a personal reading, reach out, Virgo. I know this reading here was kind of going in uh, different ways, but I felt three different groups of you. There were three messages here Spirit wanted to get out. But for sure, for sure, somebody has an X they need to take to the curb. Um, if you need a personal reading, I'm available. My email's in the description box below. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Please comment and let me know what this is about. I would really appreciate it. And like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I will be back again in a couple of days or maybe next week. Or I'll see you guys in your personal reading. Bye, Virgo.